What the fuck is wrong with you, Victor? For fuck's sakes. You got a disease. Something is fucking wrong with you. That's not my truck. I borrowed it, because it's shitty out. I didn't want to be pulling with the minivan in this. I'd have been breaking necks like a motherfucker, though. So that's the new toy, new project. So this is the Acura 3.2 TL, it's home now and uh, I've had a day or two to just kind of play with it and look at things and yes it needs shocks to hold up the hood so this is an Eric the Car Guy trick and he's freaking pretty badass. Um, when I picked this thing up it had hit the curb. Well. It had hit the curb because of the driver, and the subframe literally got its shit pushed in. So the lower control arm here is pushed in about an inch and a half from where it should be. Not to mention the fact that this son of a bitch is completely rotted. Let me zoom in. It's completely rotted through and is nowhere near structurally sound. So, I do have a complete subframe on the way, and that will be taken care of. But another thing that I'm even more happy about today is the fact that I got all the transmission lights off. When I bought this thing, the D5 was flashing, and for anybody who's familiar with Honda Acura stuff, that D5 it's flashing that's pretty much the kiss of death and I had the holy moly trifecta the D5 was flashing I had the traction control light I had the ABS light and I had the check engine light so that was about as many things wrong as you could show there and believe it or not it was aside from the obvious where it was smashed in there the not so obvious is this this here electrical connector where you can see my fresh heat shrink connections yeah that guy was broken the wire was busted off and yeah put it back on and turned it on and like magic all the freaking bells and whistles turned off that were yelling and complaining car didn't want to start. Gee, I can only imagine why. I actually jumped it off of this battery that we got out of that Accord that we sent to the claw. So, Acura, there's your new battery. All we gotta do is put it in. I'm gonna get a trans cooler because automatic transmission. And uh, when the subframe comes in, we'll do a video about what it takes to replace a subframe on a 2002, which would be anything from a 99 to an 03 if I'm not completely backwards on my numbers. Uh, front subframe for an Acura 3.2 TL. Alrighty, thank you, come again. Here I've started up the car and I've unhooked that sensor to break the wire to show what was what it looked like before. Here we have the D5 is flashing really hard to make out but we've got that one's a check engine light and the one in the middle is traction control TCS and then the furthest one to the left is the maintenance required and that one's just a timer that we can reset but to show again what I did is right there and that's transmission solenoid shift solenoid C so 
now it's back on. And I don't know if I have enough battery to turn this thing off and turn it right back on. Nope. So I'll have to jump it. But I'll jump it and I'll come back and show. Yeah, so here's my charge jump. <laughs> my jumper and actually the terminals are on the wrong sides on that battery so I'm gonna take my chances I'm gonna run the old trickle charger and I've had pretty good luck with that that battery was seemed like it was dead until I hooked it up to the trickle charger and then it was happy so powers off motors off now let's wake it back up oh not enough not enough Nope. Let's see when we do our wake up checks. There we are. So we're not flashing D5 anymore. We're not showing check engine and we're not showing traction control anymore. So at this moment awesome that's a nice change from what it was when I picked it up and like I said the uh, the front subframe is on its way but yeah it's not a not a terrible little ride <laughs>